It's Tony Real the God Chronicles, bringing you the news and reports and my personal analyzation. Welcome to Tony Real the God Chronicles. What's good, y'all, man? This your boy Tony Real the God, man. Coming back at you with another report in another broadcast. So, I have the baby. The baby. Not the baby. The baby. The baby, the baby. So, pretty much the baby he responds, you know, to, um, you know, that uh, Miami festival he did, the Rolling Live Festival. And he responds to cancellations. As y'all can see there, I'm sorry, right here, <laughs> with another apology. Uh, so, so pretty much what was said was that he was at the Road and Loud Festival in Miami, uh, and he said some LGBT. He said some things that um, were disrespectful toward the LGBTQ community, and you know he had a he he apologized for it at first, but then they kept coming for his head. So then he apologized again, and this here is the second apology. Um, and it was really sad that he had, he's actually going through stuff like this. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But I've said this before, people. You don't attack the LGBTQ community because they will come for your head. They're like a top priority when it comes to Hollywood. You know, any type of movement or movies and stuff like that. You have some LGBTQ communities or well, people that's a part of the community that disagree with how they're treating the baby. But hey, some mostly, mostly in the majority, you know, they disagree with them. They are coming for his head. They are chopping it off, and the baby claims it is hurting his pocket. So, what's sad is people are just so brashful and so evil man and we live in a world where we can't even speak our minds that's the type of world we're living in we live in a world where we can't even say what we want to say and say how we feel but it's sad that the lgbtq community they can say what they want and really not get a lot of backlash for it but the minute someone straight you know saying like myself you know saying heterosexual man uh, man like you know the baby and any other man or ti or anything you know we get bashed we get completely destroyed and it hurts the careers of people people's reputation you know even youtubers you know get bashed if they go after the lgbtq community so I find it to be sad, and people shouldn't do these types of things, man. You shouldn't be sitting here, you know, sitting here going off on people and shit just all because they're being honest. I mean, he said how he felt. It is what it is. And to be honest with you, <laughs> I mean, yeah, he apologized, but at the end of the day, brother, the baby, you know, I, you know, at the end of the day, I'll say it like this. You are a man at the end of the day. Who has a right to his own opinion and how he feels about homosexuality? If they can, if homo, if, if homophobic, you know, and lesbian, you know, people, you know, homophobic men and lesbian women can speak how they feel, you know, on how the communities and the industry and and, and individual people treat them, you know, and organizations how they treat them, then we as straight heterosexual men and women should be able to speak our minds on how we feel about it you know there are so many cases where the lgbt community has attacked people that are not a part of the lgbtq community and they did not suffer you know as much as any other individual okay you know i've seen it i've read it you know i've seen reports about it, it it's crazy out here you know, it's so it's so one-sided. You know what I mean? So, but with all due respect, I have no quarrel with the LD, LGBTQ community. I have no 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 disrespect toward them. I respect them. Do y'all thing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let nobody change how you feel. Do your thing. Hey, handle up. That's you. If you want to do your do what you want to do the way. Uh, I'm sorry. Whichever way you want to live your life, do your thing. All right. So, and that's just my respect 
to all of you uh, LGBT uh, individuals that are a part of that community of, uh, of uh, the different, you know, interests as far as uh, sex interests. All right, so no disrespect to y'all at all. So don't come for my head. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just reporting the news, man. I'm just reporting, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What, you know, what's going on. And also, I am... I'm a YouTube journalist, okay? That's it. You know, that's it. <laughs> All right. I'm just reporting the facts, reporting the opinions, reporting the news. So, anyway, right here the title says, The baby responds to festival cancellations with another apology. So, we're going to scroll down here so that you can see what I'm where I'm reading. So, I'm reading right here where you see that blue line lights up under the blue uh, name. Blue, blue name that says the baby right here so it says here the baby is feeling the heat from all angles and now it's impacting his pockets right it's been a domino effect of festival cancellations with Lollapalooza Governor's Ball and Day in Vegas all dropping the baby from their festival lineups with the past from the uh, yeah Within the past 24 hours, so they can they literally drop the baby from their catalog, from their you know dates of events and stuff, from all of their catalogs, from all of their listings. Wow, I mean, come on, Lollapalooza, Governor's Ball, Day in Vegas, they all dropped him within the last 24 hours just for his remarks. Now I watched the video and I couldn't really just kind of you know hear what he was saying it, it sounded a little distorted but it says something about you know you know uh men and women do what you got to do and women if you going you know you know do something with another woman do your thing dude if you going uh you know suck another guy's penis in the car tonight do your thing i mean i mean it didn't really sound like he said something bad but it sound like that was something he shouldn't have said so he, he kind of like put himself in the fucking, you know, bad situation. You know what I'm saying? So now he got dropped from all of these new events, from all of these organizations. Damn. Damn, brother. You got to be careful what you say at these events, man. You can't come from, you can't come for the gays, man. You know what I'm saying? They are well protected and they have a big machine behind them, man. So, you know, you can't be coming for, for these people. So we're going to scroll down. So right here, if you can see it, see how that lit up right there? It says the governor's ball. Stay tuned for a lineup edition. So these are the lineups right here. You know, I'm not going to click on it. You know what I'm saying? If you want to see this, uh, you know, just go to, you know, hip hop, uh, hip hop dx.com. Um, so it says right here, it says founders entertainment does not and will not tolerate hate or discrimination of any kind. We welcome and celebrate the diverse communities that make New York City the greatest city in the world. Thank you to the fans who continue to speak up for what is right. Along, along with you, we will continue to use our platform for good. I guess the baby said something that was just too brashful, too hard, you know what I'm saying? Just, just, it was, I guess it was just too much for him to handle, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's really ridiculous that you have to dumb down yourself to result yourself to, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, to show respect to a community that you disagree, you know what I'm saying, with when it comes to their lifestyle. Now, you can disagree with you know anyone's lifestyle or people's lifestyles you know what I'm saying and you can also state your opinion you know what I'm saying but you got to be careful how you you know how you state your opinion because you have some people that get offended very fast I have had a situation where people have got offended and did not like what I said about gays and they completely got offended and started you know, saying things like, well, maybe you gay because the way you said what you said, or well, why are you talking about it, you know, talking about the subject like that, maybe it's something sweet about you, like, see, they'll, they'll completely try to revert 
everything on you as if you're a homosexual or you're a lesbian all because of your opinion about you know homosexuality and lesbianism and that's really sad that we can't state an opinion or make a statement about how we feel about it without being attacked and trying and people trying to say oh well maybe you're gay since you're worried about it so much like that's just fucking rude man that's just rude and you had a, a lot of people you know sending messages you know you know some they were sending like posting a lot of you know angry messages rude messages you know being very rude and agreeing with you know these organizations dropping his ass you know what i'm saying so i mean that that was i think that was uncalled for they didn't have to do all that you know they didn't have to say what they said but we'll get to that so here it says here right here at the bottom right beneath that this is where i am if you can see it lighting up i'm here i don't know why my cursor isn't uh showing but the baby did go to his instagram uh, as you can see, he went to his Instagram and he pretty much put, you know, said this here. It says, social media moves so fast that people want to demolish, demolish you before you even have the opportunity to grow, educate, and learn from your mistakes. As a man who has had to make his own way from very difficult circumstances, having people I know publicly working against me, knowing that what I needed was education of these topics and guidance has been challenged. I appreciate the many people who came to me with kindness, who reached out to me privately to offer wisdom, education, and resources. That's what I needed and it was received. So he also said, I want to apologize. This is his second apology to the LGBTQ community for the hurtful and triggering comments I made again I apologize for my um, misinformed comments about HIV and AIDS and I know education on this is important love to all God bless the baby so he went to his Instagram and he pretty much wrote this apology here he stated how he felt and how people were coming for him and he was pretty much letting people know that he wasn't really well educated on certain topics when it came to the LGBTQ community. You know, he needed more information. He needed to be taught that, you know, certain things that you don't say. Now, I would think somebody of his age would know better. You know, I'm not really flying with that one because you already know at your age. Come on, man. Really, dude? Somebody of his age would know better. Come on, brother. You know, but if you got to be taught what not to say when it comes to people of a different nature, a different lifestyle, then what's the purpose of you being the age that you are as an adult to even speak in that manner? Like I said, I've been attacked before for some things that I've said. But it's really sad that we have to actually sit here and... Uh, say words of pleasure or of you know or say words of uh happiness toward our disagreement of the lifestyle we you know what I'm saying if y'all know what i mean you know by that but we have to say things that we don't really mean when it comes to the you know what I'm saying this type of lifestyle i mean if we don't like it we don't like it but say you know that's just that's just our opinion or our statement that we make. I mean, you know what I'm saying now, you know, you can apologize for it. I mean, that's fine to apologize for it. But what is the purpose if we, what is the purpose of being a human being at the end of the day if we cannot, excuse me, if we cannot speak our mind, speak how we feel? What is the problem? Why is it that we have certain people with a certain standard or a certain lifestyle? can say and do whatever they want, but people of another certain lifestyle and standard cannot. Man, this community, this world is so different. It's like you have to live up to a standard that you don't agree with, and because you don't live up to that standard and do it the way others want you to do it and respond the way people want you to respond, you get attacked. Why is it so hurtful to the LGBT community, the LGBTQ community, because people like myself and the baby and anyone else 
make an opinion about homosexuality and lesbians, lesbian, lesbianism, Le lesbianism, lesbianism. Yeah. I really don't know. I'm not even gonna try to find out. <laughs> You know, because obviously it just pretty much shows that we can't speak our mind. That's basically what I'm seeing. We can't speak our mind about anything. We can't say anything without getting bashed for it. You know, but right up here, right here, we're going to scroll right here. Let me just get this back in here. So right here where the words are kind of like lighting up blue, that's where I'm at. But I'm going to go to the one at the top where it says now. I don't know why my cursor isn't showing, but it probably will eventually. So it says now the Charlotte rapper is apologizing once again for the controversial remarks made during his Rolling Loud Miami set in July. The baby took to Instagram with a lengthy apology to the LGBTQ and HIV AIDS communities on Monday, August 2nd. So that's when this report was posted on August 2nd, but I'm not reporting it until today, but that's fine, August 3rd, but that's fine, you know. You know, I have a life other than this. <laughs> but hey, you know, it doesn't matter to anybody. I'm just putting that out there. So it says, with the backlash continuing to mount, his comment section has also been turned off for the post so he had to literally turn off his comment section because you had people from the lgbtq community were coming for him and insults and bashing and just doing all sorts of ignorant crazy messy shit putting him on blast and just destroying his image and just completely hurting this man's career they were so mad so hurt at his comments and you know he just it was just no way out of it man he apologized the first time that didn't work he apologized a second time and obviously that's not working either they're still upset come on people let it go lgbtq community let it go okay he said what he said he apologized to y'all twice i think that's enough i think that's enough i really do you know what i'm saying so um, I don't think that we should be doing all of this type of, you know, having this type of behavior toward this man at all. And I think that he, you know what I'm saying, has, a, you know, by him apologizing, I think he is apologetic. And I, I think he really means it. You know, let this man continue his career in peace. He made a mistake, people. He made a mistake, and he paid for it. That's enough. But let's scroll down here because, see, we is some comments um, that was being made uh, 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 on here, too, as well. But right here beneath his Instagram post, it says the backlash has poured in from uh, fellow music artists such as Leviathan, uh, Levitating uh, Collaborator, uh, Dua Lipa, Lil Nas X, Madonna, Elton John, and more condemning the Sug rapper for his rant. Wow. You know, and you know what I'm saying, right here where, you know, in the red, it's like T.I., says the gay community is bullying rappers as the baby black cat back backlash continues well you know ti he may be right he may be right but now they're trying to control the industry you know <laughs> which i find to be very silly so here's the, some of the comments right here now this is one of the comments uh i don't think i read i think this is a new one yeah they just posted this this guy put fuck gays Somebody named E here. Fuck gays. Y'all some fucking pussies. Especially since he was talking about people with AIDS. The word gay never came out his mouth. Straight people got AIDS to maybe even more than gays. But y'all sensitive bitch ass gays acting like he was specifically talking about you. Uh, effing, effing ussies. I'm going to stop all that cussing, y'all. And keep acting like you're a wicked uh, S's not going straight to hell when God opened that trap door or on y'all S's come judgment day. Itch S's Ussies. Oof, that's bad. And here's another one from the F this generation. 
effing snowflakes everywhere. Okay. Me, me, me. Please look carefully at the photo above. Who is that on the right? Is that the baby's baby? Lil the baby. I'm so confused. Wow. Really? And righteous rage. Uh, why wasn't the re uh, why wasn't he readjusted for the uh, multiple physical assaults and altercations over the years? Uh, dude is a bully. Miss me with the first amendments bs money and fame has blinded dude he forgot he was a black man unfortunately you'll always be punished harshly wow so to this person righteous rage if you call that a righteous comment for a righteous rage whatever you want to call yourself that was rude and your ass need to be put in your place and you need to watch your damn mouth you don't talk to people like that. Nobody, okay, he made a mistake, but that does not mean he deserved to just be punished, always be punished harshly. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Wake the fuck up. Get your stupid ass off of here making comments like that. Whoever you are, Mr. RR. Get your ass out of here, man. That's silly. So here we have another one here. Uh, I don't even know how to say this one. Ursa College. Ursa called. Uh, I'm sorry. Urso called God. You're a so-called God. That's what he said. My bad, y'all. LOL. I love it. This little cocky MF felt like he was untouchable for too long. Now they are hitting them pockets and humbling his PSs. His punk S's. You know. So, this is a rude comment. Okay. And that's I'm right here where it says, you're a so-called God. That's, that's what I'm reading. Now, that's really sad that they'll sit there and just sit there and talk about the boy like that. You know what I'm saying? The man like that and, and just get away with that. And they're really praising this assault on this man's career. And like the other guy said, you know, he didn't even, you know, the words gay didn't come out of his mouth. And that is true. But his comments pretty much kind of referred to it toward the gays. Because when he said that, hey man, if you go man, you gonna you know you gonna suck some penis in the car. I mean that referred to the gays. So you know, I kind of disagree with the first comment a little bit. But he did say something that referred to something that is homosexual, which got him attacked like now. And then we have Greener. No matter how many times he apologized, it would never be enough. That is just the world we live in. And people don't forgive people. LGBTQ community is big and they will F your whole bag up. If you don't support them, best thing to do is keep it to yourself and leave them alone. Just perform and get off stage. Which that is true. I agree with you, Greener. That is true. Because people do not, they do not care. When it comes to the LGBT community, people don't give a crap about how you know, saying how many times you apologize. The LGBT community, you know, saying a lot of them are very sensitive people, but they're conscious. You know what I'm saying? And they, a lot of them just don't like when people say things out of turn. They don't like it. So they take it as an attack. So they attack you. You know? And that's really sad. But not all people that are in the LGBTQ community are attacking the baby. Some are accepting his apology and saying, hey, you know, it's cool. It's okay. And, you know, just watch your mouth next time, boy. <laughs> Basically. You know what I mean? So is a com we have a comment right here from Jason. This ish is getting ridiculous. I think it might get to a point where certain people might start getting attacked. Agreed. I'm not incurring harm on everyone. Everyone isn't with that lifestyle. Let's address the elephant in the room. Why doesn't society focus on the cause of child molestation? True. Why don't, why don't we try to prevent single parent households? True. Why are there chemicals in, in plastics and certain products that affects people's hormones? So true. There's a cause and effect for everything, even a lifestyle that's abnormal. Exactly. Agreed, Jason. Agreed. This one here is from... This one here is from uh, L for Mankind. 
Imagine apologizing for a law that's in the Bible, the oldest book ever written and most influential. Now, uh, influential. Now, man is governing morality. Shaking my head. We shouldn't judge, but do, but, but to condemn someone for not accepting your way of life, not skin color, not race, but to something that's unnatural. Animals don't even mate with the same sex. Maybe a reptilian. <laughs> oh yeah, L for mankind. He on something else. He or she, they on yeah, they on, they on something else, man. They on you know what I'm saying. But they, you know what I'm saying. That's uh, that's an honest comment right there. You know what I'm saying. So that's that's not bad. That's not bad. You know what I'm saying. But it is what it is. It is what it is, right? You know. So um, oh, I kind of agree. I kind of agree. But far as the Bible thing, you know, I'm not really, you know. I'm not religious, so, uh, but yeah, I kind of agree, you know what I'm saying, but cool message, cool, cool, cool comment. So here we, right here, where it says, uneducated morons around here to L for mankind. Yeah, so now, so uneducated morons around here is pretty much, I guess, replying to L for mankind. <laughs> I mean, but his comment was kind of agreeable, though. Uneducated, uh, moron. Like, come on, man. It was kind of agreeable. But so not everybody going to agree. So let's see what he says about this. He says, there are literally thousands of species that are thousands of species that are homosexual. Dragonflies, especially, are like 90% homosexual. Open an effing book, you moron. <laughs> okay, that was okay. All right, all right, all right. Well, that's enough. So yeah, y'all y'all hash that out, L for mankind and educated morons around and y'all do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he didn't like his comments, so he, he had to fire back at L for mankind. So right here, Slim, it says, God hates gay people. Now the Bible does talk about homosexuality, and homosexuality is condemned in the Bible. Like I said, I'm not religious, but I do know the Bible. Um Right here, America loves. This is the last one here, y'all. America loves and uh, apologizing. America loves an apologizing Negro. So that's who this person's name is for this comment. And the comment that was made by this person: Are you kidding me? Is it enough? Wow. So I'm just gonna load a few more. I'm not gonna try to uh, read all of this stuff. Um, uh, y'all, this is really a lot. It says here, uh, from the person that named that, that it, they, oh, there's the cursor right here. It says tone says, just drop a song and move on. How quickly your fans say F it and start bobbing their heads and reciting your lyrics again. Of course, of course, um, of course, true. And none uh none yeah whatever who that is i tell you these people have some crazy names you know they also comment and says can we stop can we stop for a second and recognize that the lgbt community uh are beyond the point of even being made fun of even comedians can make fun of black people but say something slick about someone gay and it'll and it'll end your career if that's not overwhelming cultural power, I don't know what is. And you know what? That is so true. So, if y'all would like to see more of these comments, you know, just go to hiphopdx.com and you can read the rest of these comments because it's a lot of them. Because I'm not gonna read all these comments, you know, because it's a, it is a lot. Um, of them like seriously if you, as you can see i'm scrolling it is a lot of them you know what i'm saying you got this other person right here that, uh, right here that says views says this is why i love boosie he never apologized and yeah that's true he don't he, he doesn't he doesn't he never apologized for what he does because he is you know um you know he is a man at the end of the day you know, unapologetic. Some you just have some men and women that are unapologetic. You know, what I'm saying that's just how it goes. You know, what I'm saying in some effect. Um, and you know, this person here, righteous rage. Uh, this person is really, really a jackass. Why doesn't anyone have any issue with the baby assaulting people multiple times on a video? Like, hey man, shut your ass up. Shut your shut, shut your fucking mouth, man. 
You know, just seriously, like, you know, all those cases that he had dealing with that situation, he dealt with that situation, and he's been doing good so far, okay? Don't even worry about that. Like, get off of that. That's the past now. Just like this is going to be the past. Quit being a dick. You know, and then you got this other person here, this ha-ha, says the baby straight up looks like a gorilla, LOL. Wow, they're just being crazy. The baby straight up looks like a, okay, yeah. Why apologize? Stand on what you mean, no matter the consequences. Now, this is from a person that called himself stand tall, and that is true. He should stand on what he means. He, should have a, he shouldn't be so apologetic, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he was just speaking facts. You know what I'm saying? He was just speaking facts. But yeah, these are a lot of comments, man. A lot of comments. You know what I'm saying? And um, so, yeah, if you guys want to check this out, you know, read the rest of these comments, just go to hiphopds.com. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to, you know, watch, you know, my video and you'll see all this stuff right here. Of course, you know what I mean? And I'll, you know, rereading the comments and all this stuff like that. But this is what I will say. The baby made a mistake. He apologized for it not once but twice. But I say this to all of you people. Y'all cannot continue to bash this man and mess with and mess with his money, man. Let him do his thing now. He apologized twice. Alright. I feel that he meant it. You know, maybe he didn't, you know, saying I'm not sure. I don't know the guy. But I do feel that he meant it because, you know, the apology was sincere. You know what I mean? Now, some of you may take it as, oh, he just apologized because his bag is in jeopardy. Okay, maybe maybe he is. Wouldn't you apologize if your money was in jeopardy? How are you going to feed your family? I mean, at this point, you got to have money. You know what I'm saying? You can't feed your family with nothing, with no money. You know, everything costs money, man. You got to live. You got to work. You got a job, man. He has a daughter. You know what I'm saying? So... It's really sad what he's going through. I'm going to say this, brother. Keep your head up, brother. If you ever see this message, the baby, keep your head up. Stay focused. Do not let anyone tear you down. You hear what I'm telling you, brother? And you will be just fine. Wow. Well... I, I'm sorry, y'all. I just don't know what to say anymore. Because this man has literally apolog apologized twice. And he's still getting backlash. Leave him alone, y'all. He, he, okay. That's good. He apologized, man. He's he, he, he did what he was supposed to do. I guess that that will never be enough. So, I do apologize to you, brother, for what you are going through when it comes to the LGBT community. And I don't know if I'm saying it LGBT or LGBTQT or LGBTQ. I, I don't know shit. I don't fucking know it. Whatever. Anyway, he going through a lot. And it's really sad that he going through all this shit with this community and that's really sad that you can't speak your mind and speak what you want to say about how you feel about certain lifestyles and it's really sad how all these other lifestyles get attacked but you can't attack you know saying the homosexual or lesbian lesbian lesbianism lifestyle without getting backlash without getting attacked it's sad that the world that we live in so you know what y'all you know just take my advice man just 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 leave them alone because obviously they are fighting back and going to war with the communities, with the world now. You know, oh, if you don't accept the whole world, we're just going to bash at you and go at you. I mean, it's a largely powerful community. And it's a very, very big machine behind that community as well. You know, Lil Nas X is openly gay in the music industry. I mean, to be honest with you, that's never been done. That is new. That's never been done. He is the first artist to actually come out openly gay. And I have never in my life seen something like that. And that is just facts. I don't even let my kids watch any of his music videos. That's just facts. Barely let them listen to any of his music. Or any at all. I mean, I just... 
you know, I I disagree with the lifestyle, but I don't have no beef with the lifestyle. Like I said at the beginning, LGBTQ community, y'all do your thing. Do what you want to do. Live your life. I don't have no beef with you. I don't have no quarrel with you. So look here, y'all. That'll just about do it on this report, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, you know what I'm saying, about how the baby, you know what I'm saying, uh, is, you know what I'm saying, you know, apologize twice to the uh, gay community and still getting backlash and destroying his career. And y'all let me know also how y'all feel about the uh, LGBTQ community still attacking him after the comments and just trying to destroy everything that he's built so far. And y'all also let me know what y'all think about all these organizations, you know what I'm saying, removing him from their catalog and, and events. He pretty much is losing investments. He losing. He losing sponsors. He losing investments. He losing money. So y'all let me know what y'all thought about uh, this video, this report, and y'all get back at me. If you like this report from your boy Tony Ritter, God Chronicles, all right? Give me a like, share, comment, and subscribe. So just like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Turn on your bell notifications. Click that option that says all. That way you get all my notifications. Okay, y'all. And if you like to support my channel, well, please support my channel, man. Cash app, Big Tony Main, GoFundMe.com slash Tony Real the God 202. So I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for coming out. And this We'll do it, and uh, hopefully uh, we can get, you know, people to just start respecting one another more and stop trying to tear each other down. And that's what's wrong with, uh, you know, the black community now. We do a lot of tearing each other down, but we have so many people that are not tearing their communities down, their race down, but ours is the most that just attacks and tears each, other's down, each other down. So let's change that, y'all, and let's stop doing uh, this type of thing to one another because it's not doing nothing but hurting us it really is y'all it's hurting us bad and the baby said these comments and these comments have destroyed pretty much half his career he's lost investments he's lost sponsors he's lost a lot of things that you know what I'm saying that helped him make money to take care of his child and that comment down below about oh in the picture looks like his daughter on the side like lol like come on that was a rude disrespectful comment toward his child don't come for his child don't do that don't attack his children his child has nothing to do with his comments so don't come for the man's child don't come for his his family he said something he made a mistake he apologized let it be what it is there's no need for all of that disrespect y'all and y'all know it y'all know it i mean we could just go down here we can read this one more time. Look how he's losing investments. Look how look at this. We're gonna read this again. You know, the baby is feeling the heat from all angles and now it's impacting his pockets. It's been a domino effect of festival cancellations. Lollapalooza, Governor's Ball, Day in Vegas. They all dropping the baby from their festival lineups within the past twenty-four hours. He's lost that many investments and sponsors. In the past 24 hours, he's lost that many sponsors, that many scheduled events, all because of the homosexual rant that they so-called say that he had. This is ridiculous how much power this community has to destroy somebody, to destroy a black man. And I'm sure the majority of them are black. Or maybe it's a balance, black and white, or, or just a complete, full diversity of different races and cultures. This is ridiculous how, how people can't speak their mind. The baby, my hat off to you, brother. Speak your mind. And I, I am sorry, brother, that you are going through this. And I'm really hoping that you can come back from all this. And I think that he will come back from, uh, from all this, y'all. I think he will. I think he will. So, if you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. 
and turn on your bell notifications and click on the all notification and i will see y'all in the next report the baby keep your head up brother and do what you got to do to stay afloat get back at it get back out there keep working so y'all do me one thing appreciate you for coming and clicking on this video holla at your boy this is tony real the god chronicles bringing you the news and reports and my personal analyzation welcome to tony real the god chronicles